Hey guys, it's Ryan and Elise with Three Aquatics. Today we're here to tell you wait, about. Wait, wait. What? We forgot to cut your hair. Okay. You look like a grandma. A grandma? <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, now we can get back to what we were originally talking about. So, before we get into that, I have to tell y'all, go ahead and like, subscribe, and watch the entire video because somewhere in the point of this video, we're gonna tell you about some extremely large news that is coming up very, very soon. Some of you may already know about it. So, what we were gonna originally talk about was how we got into reefing. So I'm gonna let Elise start talking and tell about how we got into reefing. Oh, okay. Um, well, uh, I guess we could say it started out with chickens, as you guys saw on the thumbnail picture. Um, yeah. So we got like, uh, there was one day I just really wanted about like 10, 15 chickens, something like that. Uh, so we got some chickens. Ryan built an awesome chicken coop for me. It's not that and, good. Uh, <laughs> and so uh, after that, it kind of led into um, an aquaponic system, and we were talking about maybe we should build a pond. And, uh, Whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Let's get back, like, yes, that's true, but that's kind of like skipping a few steps. So, she got a chicken coop, okay? She got her chicken, she got her chicken coop. In fact, to tell you the truth, we had chickens in our in our bathroom over here for like four months. Well, you have to because it has to be at like 90 degrees well, here with your heat lamp. But, yeah, so we had yeah. chickens in the house for mm -hmm. like four months. So, mm -hmm. in this time frame, we had aquariums, so we've I've had aquariums my whole life. But, you know, we was like, you know what, let's get an aquarium, you know, blah, 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 whatever. So, you know, it was just fresh water. Sorry, the hair from my, getting my hair cut <laughs> is getting in my nose, so it's making my nose itchy. Just like, oh, no. I'm pretty much like covered in all your <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so uh, basically, by the way, this is no skit, nothing. This is bare, raw. You know, we're telling you as we're, guys. yeah, not even really in, but we're just telling you like we're sitting here drinking a beer with you. You know what I mean? So, anyways, chickens in the bathroom. I'm building a chicken coop. We have aquariums. We have freshwater aquariums. In fact, we have largemouth bass. Okay? And we, uh, we had the largemouth bass. Well, then I'm at work. By the way, I work in the oil field outside of Rio Aquatics. Okay, so Elise takes care of her aquatics whenever I'm at work. She takes care of all the, you know, all the sales, the shipping, the, you know, taking care of the tanks, Water you know, changes, everything, everything. And, uh, and she does a great job, by the way. Anyway, so we're like, I'm at work and I'm sitting there and I'm like, hey babe, is there anything else that you want? And she's like, what do you mean? And I said, what do you want, a garden? She goes, yeah, I would love a garden. So then we started thinking about a garden. and. I mean, uh, it kind of evolved into maybe making an aquaponics with a pond and bass. It and, went back somewhere in between like uh, chicken poop and how chicken poop, poop yeah. will, uh, will fertilize. fertilize our garden and go from there. And then we got a little bit deeper um, and we kind of wanted to try out building our own aquaponics system. And we did. Um, so we ha I had every like herb and, and vegetable you could think of, we had wheels are really Jalapenos big. Jalapenos and habaneros. <laughs> those are his favorite, <laughs> got those just for him. Um, but yeah, so it, we had that for a while. We had minnows in there, right? We had minnows, um, we had a big placo. Um, it was, we, we tried it on a small scale first. Now, we had like a 50, 50% 50 success rate with that. Yeah. And, and I think the part of the reason why was because, not necessarily the water, water quality, because I mean, we, we knew how to cycle tanks, we knew how to take care of that stuff. But with er, like aquaponics, apparently you need like a, a 7 pH, a 6.8 to 7 pH. Mm -hmm. And we were just using tap water, treating it with tap water. We didn't know what the heck we were doing. We used uh, the metal bins, the kind that you get um, from like a hardware store. The really yeah, big metal bins. Block. And we just lined it with rubber and then we filled, uh, filled it up yeah. with uh, minnows and... Did we have some koi in there at one point? No, we, uh, we uh, had the koi in the house. Oh yes, yeah, in the house. Um, but we, we had the minnows because we had the largemouth bass. We fed our largemouth bass very, very, very well. So, you know, that doesn't mean anything to a, to a reefer because we're talking about our, our story about, you know, freshwater stuff, but that's part of our history. Yeah, you know that's what I mean? how we got to where we're at today. And, and, you know, it's crazy how it all starts with chickens. 
So, like if a, I never would have gotten yeah. chickens, we would have never been This tank chickens. wouldn't be here. <laughs> By the way, this is this is one of our um, one of our mini tanks inside yeah. of our home. But this is probably our favorite tank. Um, it has a pair of mocha clowns in it. Um, and I know we're getting off off track, but I wanted to talk about it because this is my personal favorite. Um, we've got a pair of uh, mocha storms. Um, we've got zoas and and um, torches. torches and mushrooms. This was originally supposed to be a straight nim tank, like a clown harem, and um, it kind of turned into like a, a mini mixed reef. I wouldn't say, but most, it, it is, but we have uh, 14 anemones in here? Yes. So we have, yes. I mean, we have rainbows, uh, rose, um, acid trips, we got Hawaiian speckled um, green um, bubble tips. I mean, we've got, like I said, we've got a ton of them. A lot of them are still like, not really liking the tank. Um, there's a few things that we have to tweak. There's, we got a little bit of hair algae that we're trying to take care of. Mm -hmm. um, it's not perfect. We are normal average reefers. I don't want anybody to think that we're like professionals by any means. Yes, we know what we're doing, but at the same time, we're just like everybody else. That's why we didn't clean the tank. We didn't clean the tank because we wouldn't try to see our tank is like just as much as everybody else. It's else's. not always perfect. No. But we do have our, our pet peeves here and there and we like to have like the glass clean and whatnot. But uh, just like everyone else, we have our hiccups. We just try Absolutely. and learn we know, and we know what to do to try to fix those. Absolutely. So. But getting back to the point, um, by the way, this is a Neptunian Cube by Neptunian Cube USA. I just have to say it because we are actually a dealer of them. And How we many are, gallons is this? This one is 103 actual gallons, okay? Um, the only reason why I'm saying it though is because we wouldn't be a dealer for them if we didn't believe in their product. So I'm not out here to advertise for Neptunian Cube USA. It doesn't matter to me if you buy a Red Sea or a Neptunian, I don't care. All I want is for you to enjoy your reef. But back to what we were saying, you know, we did the aquaponics thing. It was working really well. We had ginormous tomatoes. Um, some died, like some other herbs died. I mean, you know more about that than I do. Yeah, I mean, like, we can't, we, we don't have to get on to all that, though. I mean, I had a bunch of different fun stuff, um, different plants. I learned, like, how to keep bugs away, mosquitoes away, with, with lavender and different things you can put in there. But the gist was, we, we learned a lot from the aquaponic system. Yeah. Um, we even had a giant placo. The placo was, like, this big. Yeah, it was freaking um, huge. Yeah, so like, something like you that. catch in the wild. It was crazy. Um, so we really, we really enjoyed uh, doing the aquaponic system. And then from there, um, what we walked... Uh, let's talk about how we got into salt water for a second. Well, you know, we have to talk about the whole, all the steps because about everything I think we had. Yeah, to, like, like I mean, we don't have to go into all the details, but I just feel like we, they, in order for them to really get to know us, they need to know like all yeah. the things we did. I so, will say, we 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 uh, redid our uh, fish room a couple times. Brian did an awesome, amazing job at building our stands. Um, and then we were always in and out with different types of tanks, different how many gallons did we have in there? Uh, we had two, over a thousand. Yeah, we had two 125 gallons with both of our largemouth baths. Uh, baths. Uh, we had catfish. 215 um, gallons. We had 90 gallons in there. Mm -hmm. We had stuff underneath them, sumps. I mean, you name it, we had it. And we I did think, water changes at least like every other day, especially oh with our discus tank that we, we had, had. There was actually a discus tank right here yeah. before this reef tank was here. It was a 90 gallon discus tank. Yeah. Right, yeah. 90 gallons. We had a large seven inch breeding pair. Um, they almost bred, they never actually bred in our tank, but they cleaned the glass, they almost bred. It was really, really cool to experience it. Mm -hmm. um, we weren't prepared for them to breed, so I'm kind of glad they didn't breed. Um, and it, but you know, we had, like I said, close to a thousand gallons, if not a little bit more. Um, after that, we went to a reef store. We, we kind of got into the YouTube thing for a little bit, like this was like way after we started doing this stuff. So we started like trying to do YouTube and that's actually kind of the couple of videos that you've seen before this. It's like we tried to do the YouTube thing. We didn't really know what to do. So we got distracted from YouTube. Well, we're back at it now. We have way more knowledge, way more experience. And we actually kind of know a little bit of what we're talking about, but not, not that much. Um, but anyways, so we went to the fish store. And at least all these these uh, 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 tangs, I think, yeah. is is what they were. We saw, and I saw lionfish, saw a blue spotted stingray. I mean, and the eels. Really yeah. Hot your oh eye. man, like the eels. eels was really cool too. And yeah. it just the clownfish, believe it or not, 
Believe it or not, clownfish are probably one of my most favorite fish. I, that's why this tank is solely for the mocha storms. Like, I, I, I just love them. breeding pair. Yeah. yeah. And no they other are clown paired. fish are going to be in here but these. Yeah, that's exactly. Tell There's, them what kind they are. Oh, that's what we talked about earlier. They're the Mocha Storms, yeah. Yeah. Um, the Signature Series or, or whatever, uh, Mocha Storms. Um, they are 100% paired. Um, our female is about two and a half inches long and our male is about two inches long. Um, hopefully they will breed soon. This tank is still fairly new. That's kind of why our anemones are not doing the greatest, but they're still, they're, they're, they're surviving. They're just not thriving, you know what I mean? So, but anyways, so we decided to get a 90 gallon aquarium, which was our first saltwater aquarium. And before we did this, we did what, six months, seven months worth of research before we yeah. even put a, like any water in the tank. Right. So, and, and that was Elisa's tank. Like originally she was the one that wanted to get into salt water. And I was just like, man, this is so cool. But I was into the arowanas, I was into the red, cat, red tailed catfish. Yeah. And we had alligator gars, bass, I mean, you said you yeah. made bichers, uh, like, freshwater bichers. eels. Yeah, before we even thought about putting salt water in our living room, he really wanted um, really big arowanas um, oh, yeah. in a three inch gallon tank. Oh, and that's yeah. what we were going to do until we kind of really fell in love with salt water. Absolutely. So, you know, it kind of evolved. You know, we, we did the salt we did the saltwater thing, we had our failures, you know, we did the, the every new reefers um, experience of, of the dirty stage, which is kind of what this is going through a little bit right now. Um, the cyano, the then we went to then we had dinos and then like we had Let's everything. Let's talk about the book. The book, like the testing book. The testing book. I cannot. Oh my gosh, the testing book taught us literally so much. If this is the first reefing video, which I don't think it is, but if this is the first reefing video that you ever seen, please, please get yourself a book and write down every single day your test results. I mean your ammonia, your, your nitrite, your, your nitrate, your calcium, your alkalinity, yeah. your during, phosphates, mm -hmm. everything. Even I'm, during your cycling process. Yeah, Super specifically important. during your cycling process. It'll teach you so much, it's unreal. Mm -hmm. Because we learned more cycling our saltwater tank and testing it every single day than what we did on any other tank that we've ever learned. And we did the same thing on, on, on our freshwater tanks. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, we have an entire book full of uh, all the tests that we've done since yeah. we've been in this hobby. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. It, you know, if, if you're a new reefer and you're watching this video, my advice to you at this point in, in, in time is take your time, test your tank, and, and just go slow. Yeah. Patience, any reefer in the world will tell you patience is key in this hobby. Definitely right. Abs I mean, yeah. that's just what everybody taught me. That's what we're teaching everybody that we try to help, you know. But we, I know we kind of got off track a little bit. But, you know, getting back to what we were talking about, we had the, the 90-gallon. We went for the 90-gallon. Then we put a 125-gallon. We, we got our first case of ink. Yes. And then it was like it was like oh it's ick whatever we had like a thousand times with freshwater fish no the first fish we got ick with was an Achilles tang <laughs> a five inch show Achilles tang we had no idea what we were doing none zero two hours later croaked done done I mean and we was like what the heck. You know, I mean, that's not the exact words that come out of my mouth, but you know, for YouTube purposes, we were like, what the heck, man? Yeah. And, and so I called my buddy and I'm like, hey man, what, what just happened? He's like, oh, you got it. I'm like, dude, it's nothing. He's like, not the saltwater world. We learned a lot from that, mm -hmm. honestly. And then. We lost our, our fair share. Oh yeah. Of fish. Oh yeah. Um, there's okay. another stories that we could tell later about yes. why we lost this, why we lost yeah. that, blah, 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 whatever. And then, so then we decided, like, we already knew we wanted to start an aquarium store. Because we'd been doing this for quite a while. Mm -hmm. So, we knew we wanted to start an aquarium store, but we didn't know the saltwater side as well. So, we started getting to the saltwater side. We at least got, like I said, got our 90 gallon. Um, we had corals. We had fish. We lost our Achilles tank to ick. 
we learned about quarantine and, and this and that. We had no, like, even though we did all the research, we still had no idea what we were doing. Right. And once we kind of like two months in, three months in, four months in, six months in, we were like, okay, this isn't too bad. We quarantine our fish. Then we, you know, get them nice, fat, and happy, and then we put... All right, so apparently our camera quit recording. So we're gonna kick off right where we started. Um, and I don't even remember where that was. Maybe we're talking too much about salt water, or, or about, <laughs> uh, maybe we're talking too much in general. Maybe we can really get into the... Um, like the just giveaway. dive right in? Yeah, I think, so, I think we should really talk to y'all about the giveaway. Well, not quite just yet. We have a little bit more to tell. We'll keep it short to the yeah. point. Basically, we found out we wanted to do an aquarium. Well, we already knew we wanted to do an aquarium store. We wanted to learn the saltwater side, so we've been studying that for quite some time. Um, we had our successes. We've had our failures. We still have our failures. We still have our successes. Um, so we converted a 125-gallon tank into a quarantine tank, which was very, very good because we learned a lot through doing that, putting tape, you know, in and tanks in and out in and out whatever i mean we were quarantining other people's fish um now we're all spent quarantining like, yeah like we know what to dose for what um diseases what uh, infections the fish come in what they have um we've been pretty stable with that absolutely okay. so then we started our our um our frag tanks and i got a video that i haven't yet made because like i said we kind of steered away from the youtube thing but um, there is a video that I would like to post just so y'all can see like where we were at this point in our lives. Um, like we were, you know, uh, we got a frag tanks, we got two 90 gallon, two by six foot fra frag tanks. We got them in the other room. They're still in there right now as we're rebuilding our other room, which that's another information for another day. But, um, we set these frag tanks, we, it, it blew up, like it blew up. We got Coraline, these tanks are stable as can be. Um, light conditions. Light conditions, is, I mean, mint condition. And, and I mean, the corals are just growing like crazy. I mean, we had a Hellfire Endo uh, torch that went from one head that we got as a single head, not, not splitting, it was just a single head that was just cut. And in two months, we had a, a double-headed yeah. Hellfire. I mean, it was, it was pretty incredible. Honestly, it really it's was. It's really just all about like monitoring the tank yeah. and dosing what you need to. Um, testing every single day. Um, you got yeah. the Trident. We got the uh, Trident, we got the Apex. Awesome. We mm -hmm. got, I mean, we're running an AP700 on this tank. We have uh, G4s, um, Radeon G4s on, on our SPS tank. We have um, AP700s on our LPS tank. We're mm -hmm. building our new frag room, which we're gonna talk about later. Mm -hmm. um, not in this video to come. Um, we got just a hint that we're gonna be running G5s in that tank, in that room. So. Um, by the way, if you don't already know, we do have a baby on the way. So that's one of the big news that we have, which y'all could probably already tell by at least sitting here. Um, and her name will be Coral Lynn Stevens. Yes. So um, Elise actually came up with that name. I mean, she did. I don't know. Do you think that they get it? Coral Lynn? Coraline? <laughs> you know. <laughs> so anyways, the last thing that we want to tell you about is we're actually giving away a Neptunian Cube USA for free. Um, Re Aquatics has decided to team up with, with Beads Reef and Restash, okay? And by the way, great guys. I talk to them on a regular basis, all right? Um, I think Beads Reef just won the Cade um, uh -huh. from Algae Barn, and I may be wrong, so don't quote me, but I think Rob, um, uh, which is Restash, just won um, the Predator tank from Waterbox. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I, it, yeah I think, so I think that's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. they, he got like Nios, I mean, do all kinds of crazy stuff. Restash. Yeah, restash. <laughs> Anyways, um, we're gonna actually gonna put them in the comments down below so that way y'all can go check them out. Um, we will, like I said, starting I believe tomorrow, which today is. Tuesday. Tuesday, so it's Wednesday, it's hump day. Yep, hump day. So on hump day, we're gonna they're gonna start the giveaway, which we've like I said, we've donated a Neptunian cube. We're also donating coral. Um, I'm not going to spoil the surprise. If you don't already know, you gotta go check out the links. You gotta go check out the giveaway. I don't want to spoil nothing else. I just know that we're going to be giving 
one of these bad boys away. It is actually this model. It's the um, it's the S90. It's got I mean, it's got the reactor. It's got um, uh, three container dosing containers. Um, it's got a cutout for for your protein skimmer um, and a gravity fed auto uh, top off. Yep. It's got LEDs. It's got fans. Um, it's it, it has a thermometer probe. Um, I mean, it, yeah. These tanks are literally one of the nicest out of the box tanks I've ever seen in my life. And talking about the giveaway, I think this is like one of, if not maybe the largest giveaway. Right? I think it's, I think one of the largest. It's the third largest that I've personally ever seen. Okay. Not that it is the largest or the third largest, but it's the third largest that I've personally ever seen. But it is pretty big. If you're, um, you know, just starting out in the hobby or wanting to get into it, this is an awesome opportunity. Uh, for y'all to go ahead and dive in. Um, I mean, you're pretty much gonna get a tank for free, coral, you're gonna get the entire setup. Absolutely. Um, yeah. So, anyways guys, like I said, this is Ryan and Elise. Elise. We're with Three Aquatics. We hope you subscribe, like, and comment on our, uh, on this video. Let us know how we did. Like I said, this is our first video in, I don't know, quite uh, a so year. <laughs> yeah, like we didn't yeah. even post those videos for a while. Yeah. Anyways, so, uh, let us know how we did, you know, kind of, we just wanted to get personal with you before we really start making videos so that way we can, you know, connect with y'all. Apparently, baby coral's kicking. Um, All the time. <laughs> <laughs> but, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, yes. um, whatever. If you want to follow us on Facebook, we have Facebook and Instagram. So, anyways, y'all have a, a good evening or day, whatever time it is that you're watching this video. And Re Aquatics is here to uh, redefine your reef. <laughs>